the Eagle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Tig, you beat me. Come on, get off. You're really squishing my tail. Yay! Woohoo! Tig is the winner. Tig is the strongest. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, King, King of the, the Tiger. tiger. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, Mappa Pandiga. Good morning, children. Leo and I are just playing. <laughs> playing what? King of the Tiger. Tig's the king. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Armored Tiger once earned the right to be called the King of the Tiger. Just like the White Shouldered Eagle is the King of the Sky. The King of the Sky? I've never really heard of him. Tell us the story, Mappa Pandiga. Pretty, pretty, please? <sighs> it was a long time ago. There was no order among the bird folk. The strong would wrong the weak, and no one was there to stand up for them. Then, the birds got together and decided to choose themselves a king who would be kind, strong, and fair. The choice fell on the eagle. But, the jealous vulture cried out, he needs to prove that he's the strongest. Let's have a competition. He who's the first to get to the top of a high mountain at sunrise will become the king. And so it was set. But at night, the vulture stole the eagle's wings, put them on, and flew to the summit. But when the sun came up, it scorched the sneaky vulture and made him turn black. And the eagle received a pair of new wings from the sun. Thus he became white-shouldered. And that's how they've been ever since. The white-shouldered eagle, the king of the sky, and the black vulture who was left to feed on nothing but carrion. Mappa Pandiga, so where did those old eagle wings go? I don't know. Probably still somewhere on the Eagle Mountain. All right, kids, that's enough for today. I've got things to do. <laughs> Tig, do you want to go for a walk? Walk where? Well, nowhere special, really. Just wander around a bit. I'm pretty good right here. Leo, what are you up to? Come on, King of the Tiger! <sighs> Just a little more! Yeah, so what? It's nothing special. Of all the places to wander, you want to come here? What's the big deal? No big deal. But there are no wings lying around in other places. What are you saying? Come on, Tig. We're climbing the Eagle Mountain! Are you insane? It's the highest, most dangerous mountain, period. Leo, Tig! Oh boy, they're about to fall. Uh, I must call everyone for help. Uh. Grandpa, I'm gonna do a run up and soar into the air. Oh, it's such a pity that you won't be able to see it. A run? <laughs> Jump! <laughs> that one doesn't count. This time I'm definitely gonna fly. <laughs> of course you're gonna fly. You're an eagle. It's just that, well, you're not ready yet. But I feel like I'm ready. A run? A jump? <laughs> Elder Eagle. We've just seen a leopard and a tiger on the mountain, climbing to the top. Wow, awesome! I wonder what they're doing here. We'll find out soon enough. Leo, why do we even need wings? They're not that great. Think about it! Once you get yourself some wings, you can become not just the king, Tiger, <sighs> but of the sky too. Why should I care about the sky? I'm perfectly fine with a tiger. Tig, uh, push uh, it closer to the rock. Leo, you're kicking up too many rocks. It's not me. It's a stone ball. Saving 
us. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be crushed by those stones. Tell me this. What business has brought Wingless to our mountain? We... We just wanted to find ourselves some wings, so that Tig could become a real king of the sky. <laughs> king of the sky? Having wings is not enough for that. Uh, I've got wings right here. When do I become the king? It's the vultures! How dare they show up at our beautiful mountains! Don't worry, sir. We'll take care of them. You better leave this place now and hurry. Well, old man. Long time no see, as they say. <gasps> Grandpa, that's the black vulture! Ah, it's you. I've thrown you out of these mountains more than once before. <laughs> yes, but this time your guardians are far away. And you've become a feeble, lame, and blind old geezer. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Let the young one go. No, I will not. Say goodbye to your little hatchling. No, please. Grandpa! Stay here. I'll be right back. Lily, go. wait! Hey, you! Let him go ah. right now! And who's this little nuisance? Grab him! <laughs> no, Lil! No, 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 no! Goodbye, Grandpa. old man! Grandpa Eagle, we need to save them! My wings are still very strong and powerful, but I'm blind. I know! I can be your eyes and I'll guide you. You, who were born without wings, are not scared of flying? Oh, I'm really scared, but we can't abandon them. Let's go! To the left. To the right. A bit more. Aha! We've almost caught up with them. He slipped into a ravine. Ah, uh, the passage is too narrow. I spent my entire life among these incredible mountains. I know every blessed rock here. Initiate the countdown. Three, two, one, and go. Whoa, yeah, that was awesome. We've caught up with them. You wretched old man. I underestimated you. But you won't get them The back. vultures dropped them! They're falling! We have to catch them! Go down, quick! <laughs> <laughs> I can fly! I can fly, Grandpa! I'll be our eyes now! Enough flying for me. Can we land? So you are saying that they were climbing on the Eagle Mountain? Oh, I really shouldn't have told Leo and Tig that Eagle legend. Oh dear. Look there! What's that way up above? That's Leo. <gasps> and Tig, they're flying. Grandpa. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no. I should thank you, brave-hearted tiger. You are a king indeed. A king? Who? Tig? Come visit us when you can. We'll always be glad to see you. For sure. We'll fly you around. Grandpa, follow me. Let's go home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Flying? Well, uh, thanks, but <laughs> that's okay. I think I'll Well pass. then, King, you want to play tag? You're it! Forget about it, Mila. I'm no king. Ha! Whoa, whoa, it! Whoa. <laughs> it's not those who are strong and cunning who inspire tales. 
for those who are brave and kind. The Rise of the Dragon. Tig, don't be such a bore. Join our race. Yeah, Tig. Up to the cedar on the top and back. I have more important things to do. I'm gonna wait for you down here. So, the stripey's <laughs> scared. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whatever. Go on, Mila, give us a command. On your mark, get set, go! Paws against wings. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Leo! Leo! <sighs> okay, let's see who's the first to get down. So, Tig, looks like the Spotty got himself a new friend who is not a coward, unlike you. A coward? <laughs> Me? Look, look over there! They're coming! Oh, isn't Kino amazing? Flying like that. Kino's great. Kino's awesome. That's all I hear these days. Kino this, Kino that. No, you too, Mila. <laughs> Leo traded Tig for the winged one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Cuba, let's get out of here. Sure, go. The spotty doesn't need you anymore. You're no match for that feathery guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm first. <laughs> wow. Tig! Cuba! Where are you going? We don't have time. Cuba and I have more important things to do. We could come up with something more interesting than stupid racing. What's up with that? Something bugging him? It's not exactly bugging so much as pecking. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, I don't know. The earth is kind of trembling. Oh. Let's go to Mama Pandy. I bet he might know what's going on. Oh, they say that once before, a long time ago, the Earth would shake the same way. And here's what happened. The Great Mount, the one on the east, was friends with the wind. The mount really liked it when the wind would shake the tops of its pines. But one day, the wind flew up higher and started to play with the clouds. That made the mount angry. Suddenly, the sky turned dark. And then he, he appeared. Who? The dragon. The dragon? Yes. Giant like a mountain and ruthless like fire. No animal could get the best of it. But how? How was he stopped then? The wind. It flew close to the dragon and not alone. He brought along some clouds. They started whirling and dancing around. The dragon then calmed down and turned back into the great mount. The clouds wrapped it in a white blanket, and the dragon fell asleep. No! Oh, but now he woke up again! We have to find Tig. Let's go! I'll fly ahead! Guys, where are you going? Dragon woke up! <laughs> <laughs> we need to run! The, 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 oh, oh. The dragon! Oh, and here I thought Leo was my best friend. He's all, Kino, let's have a race. Kino, you're such a great flyer. <clears throat> oh, Leo, Leo. Oh, 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 the oh, he woke oh, up! Oh, hey, you! Oh, what dragon? On the mountain, he woke up. Everyone's afraid of him. Everyone except me. I'm gonna go there and have a look. Check out this dragon. You coming with me? 
Fine, whatever. I'm gonna go there alone. Then everyone will see that I am brave. The Stripey lost his mind. Going right into the dragon's mouth. Martins, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Where is Tig? Where could he go? Cuba! Where's Tig? Mountain? Tig went up the mountain? But why? Well, where is this dragon? I'm gonna show him what's what. And after I'm done with this dragon, we'll see what Leo has to say. He'll probably be like, Tig, pretty please, let's play together. And I'll be like, no, Leo, go play with your Kino. Ah! friend. <gasps> Tig, look at that. Whoa. It's all quiet now. Do you think that means the dragon fell asleep? Yeah. Now we need to figure out how to get out of here. Oh. Hang on there, guys! I brought help! Grab the line, children. Climb up. And then Leo jumped to me and said, wherever you go, I go too. And then I realized that I was wrong. And then the wind, and the clouds, and the dragon fell asleep again. Mappa Pandiga, why did the dragon fall asleep again? <laughs> I think, kids, it's because Tig got the best of the dragon. What? The dragon? But I haven't even seen him. <laughs> Yay! Tig is the dragon slayer! Who? Me? Really? Well, yes, actually. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Dragon Slayer, time to go home. Kino, come by tomorrow. I know a really fun game. 
We can play it together. Right. Play dragon. No! Anything but dragon! <laughs> Come on, Leo. I swear I didn't get scared one bit. If this dragon ever comes my way... <laughs> <laughs> Every one of us has a dragon sleeping inside, and only you yourself can get the best of him. Goodbye, Theodore. So have you come up with an interesting question? I spent all night thinking. But I still have nothing. I've got a question. But I forgot it. Hi, Theodore. Do you also want to listen to Mappa? No, oh, no, my friends. I just wanted to say goodbye. To say goodbye? Ah, it's September already. Today at sunset, our flock is flying off to the warmer lands. Over there at the Blue Hills is where we meet. Whoa, it's so far. You call this far? The warmer lands, that's really far away. Several days of a strenuous flight through heat and cold. Through winds and storms. All right, children. What questions have you prepared for me? Today, as promised, I will answer the most interesting one. Who's up? So what? No questions. I've got one! Mappa Pandiga, why do storks fly to the warmer lands for the winter? Good one, Leo! <laughs> Wonderful. That is an interesting question indeed. A long time ago, back at the dawn of time, the weather was always hot on Earth. But then, the climate began to change, and animals started to dress in furs and feathers. Those who chose feathers learned how to fly and became birds. Later, it turned out that the feathers are not good for keeping you warm in winter. But the birds didn't want to give up their plumage. They wouldn't trade this new and magical feeling of flying for any fur coat, no matter how warm or beautiful. That's why, ever since that time, every year, many birds have to fly far, far away to the warmer lands, where they can stay till the harsh winter is over. I'm so glad I've got my fur coat. There's no way I'd be flying to the warmer lands. Oh, so pretty. Where did it come from? That is Theodore's feather. But without it, how can he fly to the warmer lands? We need to return it. Give his feather back. Can we make it? We don't have any other choice. In that case, let's go, guys. Think of something. No, Leo. Just no. Why not? Jump now, Tig. Don't be scared. I'm gonna jump first. Okay. As a gentleman, I'll let you go first. Huh? Woo! <clears throat> oh, wow! Why did I never jump like that before? <laughs> Woo! But this is so high. Leo, I can't do this. I'll just wait here. All right, Tig, stay there if you want. But could you catch the vine first? 
Caught on a thorn, so he couldn't jump off. That's right. Caught on a thorn. Theodore, you're friends with a tiger, a leopard, and a lynx. I don't believe you. Where could he go? Leo! Yara! I have really bad luck today. First, I got caught in a thorn, and now I fell into this deep pit. I'm so sick of vines. I do have wonderful friends. We made it! <laughs> we found your feather. 
You lost it, right? Yeah, this is my feather. But why? I think you can't fly without it. Oh, no, Tig. One feather wouldn't affect the way I fly in the slightest. So we came for nothing? No, not at all. I'm so happy, my friends, that you came to say goodbye before I leave. And this feather is for you to remember me. Goodbye! And good luck, Theodore! <laughs> when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it up with shouts, we will scare it up with shouts, we will scare it up with shouts and continue on our flight. Off with the feathered ones. Shorty! Go see what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoo, shoo. Pipe down, you hear me? Uh, who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They, they did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoo, feather freaks, get moving. Your presence here we're disapproving. Messing with my sleep, foo. Well, I say shoo. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoo, feathered one, shoo. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> 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 Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Oh, oh, stop it. Cut it out right now. The birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan.
Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amba was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amba very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song. Summoning the birds, answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the Martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. Great spirit of 
it all makes sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the... The snake bit me! Tig, <laughs> 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 relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Milo, watch out! A vulture! Oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the forest! <laughs> oh. Phew, that was too close. <laughs> we'll meet again! <laughs> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Oh, I will call you a little baby T. Uh. Remember, baby T, Tiger is the Tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T, do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Mm -hmm. Because they are really, really super fierce. Rawr! Make sense? Mm -hmm. Well, now you try. <sighs> Come on, louder, like this. Rawr! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Rawr! <laughs> Well, that's 
not quite like a leopard. <laughs> but it's a good start. Ah! And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, baby T. Your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be. Because baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! Wh wh where is T? Baby T, come out! Say something! We're here! Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo, T, where are you? Say something. Ah, <sighs> there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up. It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river. <gasps> but guys, the vulture. <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> Baby T. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off Baby T. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Run, T. Save yourself. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
junk food anyway. Ah. Just know that I like to come back for seconds. Ah. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah! Well done, baby T. <laughs> That's my student. Uh, no way, I taught him. <laughs> no, we taught him together. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's her! It's the wise turtle! Goodbye! Swim, T. This is your family. And, well, I wanted to say, you were one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard! T, don't forget to ride! <laughs> Lost inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. Ha! Huh. Oh. Well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. <sighs> Boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Has Theodore has lost his... Uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so? What do you mean? You said it yourself, boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this thing, Inspur. Oh yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo, by the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. <laughs> ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. The sun peaked from the clouds. Like a star among the crowds. Oh, no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your... Uh, the thing that... What's it called, huh? Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. How about we help you find it again? Could you tell us what it looks like? This thing we're looking for? The inspiration. Oh, it's so luminous. It's so, so magnificent. It, it's like a... Uh, uh, like a flower? Like... Uh, 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 achoo! Uh, inspiration livens up everything. Even the most commonplace trees, you can see how they breathe. Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! I think I found it! Found what? That thing, you know. Ta ta ta! Ta ta ta! Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Well, indeed, this magical stone is very similar to inspiration. Huh. This is the one you call inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! What is this stone. magical stone? It is so shiny, so beautiful. Hmm, beautiful and shiny? I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine. Hmm. Ta 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 ta. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. Theodore has to know something. <clears throat> and now I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Help! 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 Me! You hear that? Someone's calling for help. Let's get moving. Go! Go! The magical stone! 
<laughs> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here. Let's run! Hmm, that's strange. No one was there. Who <gasps> cried for help? Hold on! Where's the stone? It was right there! <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! <clears throat> Such cunning trickery! I just can't believe it! In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his... Ta-da-da, ta-da-da. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? We're gonna get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> who found it. Is that right? Finders, weepers, loses, keepers. Oops, no wait. Finders, keepers, loses, weepers. But <laughs> isn't that right? Sounds about right. <laughs> and you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone. Not gonna happen. Let's roll. Go on, get, get a stone. <laughs> Stop, thieves. <laughs> I think we lost them. Haha, -ha, you're busted! Give me the stone! No! It's mine now! Martins, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie no, has rescued no, the magical the stone! stone. can't catch Magpie for sure. But well, what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean that is to say you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because we wanted to give you back your, your da-da-da-da-da. Inspiration! We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration. And the stone? <laughs> it's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. As the clouds depart the sky, on your friends you can rely. <laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship. <laughs> to the sun will wave hello. We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. at all this magic oh, 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 oh. with such friends nothing is tragic oh, 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 oh. round and round sun bunnies dancing oh, 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 oh. happy days they are enhancing Such 
close friends, nothing is tragic. Around and round, somebody's dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. Keep looking, the stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Happy days they are enhancing. 